Now, Walter, please don't worry. We're just trying her out for a week. Oh, for crying out loud, I told you 50 times I don't like strangers sleeping in the house. I value my privacy. If it's a hot night and I want to sit around in my underwear, I want to sit around in my underwear. Underwear? Walter, on a hot night, for you, that would be overdressed. <laughs> You're kidding. Now you know our secret, Carol. On a hot summer's night, when Walter sits around with a newspaper on his lap, he is not reading to me. <laughs> Cut it out, Maud, Maud. Cut it out. Walter, look, this lady must have been all over the world. Bombay, Tokyo, Paris, Rome, Dubrovnik, Brisbane, Australia. Well, if she travels that much, why can't she go home at night? <laughs> I wonder where she's from. Didn't I tell you, Carol? She's British. From London. Imagine London. Oh, now I get it. Now I realize why you're so steamed up about this dame. You can put on the dog with all your friends. Friendly residents. Cheerio. Pip, pip, and a yank in the RAF. Be quiet, Walter, or you'll get a yank in the RAF you'll never forget. <laughs> Walter, I resent your implying that I am a snob. I couldn't care less what nationality she is. That's Mrs. Naugatuck. Now, remember, Walter, she's British, so for heaven's sake, don't act like the ugly American. You're not that good looking to start with. <laughs> Let's just think of her as Greer Garson and Mrs. Miniver and make her feel at home. Mrs. Naugatuck? You really should do something about them steps. I nearly broke me bloody bum. What did I tell you? Another Greer Garson. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. I'm Maud Findlay. This is my husband, Walter, and my daughter, Carol. How do you do? <laughs> uh, you know, Mrs. Naugatuck, I am a bit of an Anglophile. <laughs> that means English buff, Walter. You've been to London? Uh, no, but I have relatives in Toronto. <laughs> and I have been to the London Bridge in Arizona. Oh, my. It has fallen down, hasn't it? <laughs> but it tells us you lived in Brisbane. Yes, but I didn't get to see much of it. I was ever so busy. So, oh, as a housekeeper? In a manner of speaking, it was a baldy house. <laughs> you did say boarding house. Oh, no, boardy house. They didn't stay over. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Naugatuck, now, I mean, you weren't actually employed in a boardy house. Oh, good heavens, no. I own the place. <laughs> Some of my belongings have arrived. Splendid. Uh, Mrs. Naugatuck, uh, nothing personal, but isn't this an awful lot for a one week's tryout? Come on, ducks. I've never met a soul who didn't go crackers over my cooking. And my house works bang on, and everybody goes potty over my personality. <laughs> so I'm never good. <laughs> so if you just show me my room, I'll get hopping. All right, Mrs. Naugatuck, walk this way. Well, if I could walk that way, I'd have stayed in Brisbane. <laughs> oh, so did you hear? First we're going crackers, and then we're going to go potty. <laughs> Isn't she perfection? Yeah, Maud, perfection. Uh, so give her a week's salary and tell her we changed our minds. Oh, now, Walter. Not a chance, Maud, not Walter, a chance. Walter, please. Now, Maud. I'm not gonna say it again. She's gotta leave. I don't want sleeping help, British or not, and that's final. Oh, come on, now, what? Final! All right, all right, I'll talk to her. That's what I get for offering a smattering of culture to a man who crumbles Ritz crackers into his soup. <laughs> there she is, tell her. Mrs. Naugatuck. Yes, ma'am? A beautiful vase. Oh, you like it, Mum? You like it? This is lovely. Cyril's in there. Cyril? <laughs> My husband, you're holding his ashy. <laughs> How long has he been in there? Just since he died. <laughs>